Hi there, Sagittarius. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at March 2nd through March 8th. And as I told you last week, Venus, the goddess of love, and Mars, the planet of red-hot passion, continue on in Aries, your fellow fire sign, and your romance, self-fulfillment, and fun zone. So this is a really good week for you. We've got Jupiter still out of phase, but in Leo, and we've got Saturn in your sign. So there's a nice trine of fire. When there's a trine of fire, it means that the fire signs are getting along really well. If you know anyone born under the sign of Aries or Leo, it's a good time for you to reach out to them. And they are good people for you to socialize with, date, whatever it is you're looking to do. There are two celestial standouts mixing things up this week. We've got a full moon and an important trine. The first one brings an unusual type of good luck to you Tuesday, March 3, when Jupiter, which of course is your ruler, the planet of bigger is better opportunity, Jupiter backs up into a fire trine with Uranus, which is currently in Aries. There will be one more Jupiter-Uranus trine this year on June 22nd, but after that, the next one isn't scheduled until 2019. Jupiter remains in retrograde position, indicating that a loss of faith in our leaders, Leo, is still the prevailing rule. It's kind of interesting too, Obama is a Leo and of course there's been a big loss of faith in him over the last, especially this year and the last year. And then Madonna, who's a Leo, very much a Leo, there seems to be quite a, a loss of faith in her. I mean, she fell on stage recently and there's been a lot of articles in magazines, you know, taunting her and calling her out for the outfit she's been wearing. And while it's, you know, typical, uh, you know, tall poppy syndrome, um, but the, I mean, the, the president's a bit different. Um, it's just interesting that that's what's happening because I've, there's two examples of very prominent Leos that are definitely are not where they were three years ago, so we say, or four years ago. This is especially true for, an, for unusual ideas or progressive products that they're having a difficult time getting, you know, research done. Stem cell research is still very frowned upon in many parts of the world. And even though it's, you know, proven that it can help various diseases, Australia is still very far ahead, as is Europe, in a lot of technological and medical advances due to the FDA and their very strict policies. But, you know, you never know what's going to come to light with stem cell and all that sort of thing. With assistance from Neptune, the Pisces full moon on Thursday, March 5 is a time when the lines between the virtual and the real become very thin. This can be a magical moment in the astrological year filled with creativity and inspiration. It's a time when dreams can come true or a time when you choose to put an end to bad habits and addictions. Pisces has the greatest influence on those who live and work in the non-physical realms, such as artists, musicians, clairvoyants, healers, astrologers, and people involved in health, maybe more of the natural health, not exactly, you know, an MD, but maybe someone who's more involved in acupuncture or herbs or something like that. A lot of my clients go and see people and get herbs to make them feel better. So I think that's something that we'll be looking at too over the next couple of weeks. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week, Sagittarius.